Well, I guess I'll just have to stick with Nick. Oh, wait a minute. You're not. You guys aren't. What? Sleeping together. Sorry, I thought that was implicit in my disgust. Uh, explicit, actually. And no, I have a very strict rule against dating colleagues. Oh, really? I call it the strange policy. Oh, well, good. I'm glad something's named after me. You know, I've added a laminectomy procedure, and yet somehow no one seems to want to call it the strange technique. We invented that technique. You know, regardless, I'm very flattered by your policy. Look, I'm, uh, I'm talking tonight at a neurological society dinner. Come with me. Another speaking engagement? So romantic. You still love coming to those things with me. We had fun together. No, you had fun. They weren't about us, they were about you. Not only about me. Steven, everything is about you. Welcome to the Marvel Universe. Thank you, good to be here. Um, if you could talk about your, you sort of play the normal within the strange world of Doctor Strange. I'm just wondering mm. if you could talk about sort of, uh, of being that anchor for um, Mr. Cumberbatch as he sort of wandered into this wild new world. Right. Well, it was a really fun challenge because, you know, Kristen, Christine's being um, confronted with some of this otherworldly stuff as well. So it was, you know, working with the director to find the balance of, you know, when does her doctor brain, practical science mind kick in and just see that, you know, a life needs to be saved and, you know, all of her um, faculties come back to her. So, um, so it was kind of fun to sort of walk that tightrope between what does she just um, believe in because um, she'll ask questions later and, you know, she has to act now. So, yeah, it's fun. Uh, if you could talk about working with Benedict, obviously you both have done very different Sherlock projects, but nonetheless, <laughs> yes. uh, if you could just talk about working with him and uh, what it was like just seeing his own transformation in the character. Mm. Um, I mean, I've been a huge fan of his from afar for a long time. So it was, I mean, it was just so great to see him become Doctor Strange. Uh, the first time I saw him in the full costume and the levitation cape and he's running towards me through the hospital and he's, the wind's blowing in his hair and, you know, I was just like, wow, that's a superhero, you know? And it's just exciting to see, you know, uh, it all come together, come to life like that. And I think he's phenomenal in the film. Could you just talk about the scope of a project like this? Like, obviously, if you're working on something as massive as some of the television projects you've done, or something like Spotlight, which is obviously a little bit more intimate, um, you're sort of walking this world, massive green screens, massive sort mm -hmm. of the technology, yet you're still trying to find the core character. Mm -hmm. Is it a, a more of a challenge from us outside or as a performer, do you just walk in and continue to do your work? I, I guess I feel like you, it's a similar approach to to most roles. Um, you try to find the the truth of it, no matter how fantastical it gets. You try to play real people. So um, so I, I I guess the approach was was the same. But I mean, this, yes, the scale of it is incredible. I mean, you know, you're watching these technologies unfold in front of you that are brand new. You know, this is all such cutting edge stuff and. So, you know, it's all a little mind-blowing that way. I mean, you're now sort of in a comic book movie. Is there anything that you collect? Is there anything sort of like you put on your little trinket shelf that uh, this, is this the kind of nerdy stuff that you're into yourself or is this sort of also outside your comfort zone? Um, I've become a real lover of graphic novels. Um, so I've, I've got a lot of those on my bookshelf now. Um, but I collect tea towels. Um, <laughs> I usually try to get one because it's, it's easy to find one. I mean, the magnet thing just on the fridge gets to be too much. But tea towels, I always get one wherever I go. And then when I'm doing the dishes, I have a little memory of that place. And What's your craziest tea towel? Um, I have one from the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh that I got when I was doing Southpaw. And I think it says something like, modern art equals, I could do that, yeah, but you didn't. That's Is that sort of your mantra? Because you are doing <laughs> modern art. <laughs> um, I guess this is kind of modern art. I never thought of it that way. But um, yeah, it's graphic novels come to life, which is two of my favorite mediums. So uh, Working with Scott and, I guess, uh, Cargill, uh, the writer on set, I'm just wondering if you could talk about working with these sort of young, hungry mm. um, um, filmmakers, what that was like and what they brought to the project that's sort of unique from some of the other stuff you've done before. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, Scott is 
you couldn't find a bigger lover of Doctor Strange and comic books. Um, so he's just, he was the perfect man for the job. And Carhill too. I mean, he's like, their enthusiasm is so infectious. They love what they're doing. They feel grateful to be there, I think. And I, th I don't know. I think they, I think they, they were really ambitious. They kind of um, took a lot on their plate and thought, well, let's shoot for the stars and see where we wind up. And final question, if you are sort of on a Friday night and just want to go to a movie, are you looking for the deep intellectual stuff, something like Spotlight, or do you sometimes just want to go and watch stuff blow up real good? <laughs> Both. Yeah, um, sometimes you just want to, I, I, I think the best, I just saw Sing Street not that long ago, um, and that was just, I just love a movie that makes you tap your toes and you just come out of it feeling like reborn or something, like you've seen something so wonderful. Um, I like it all. When I like are we going to see you in a musical? <laughs> as soon as I can learn to sing. Yes, well. <laughs>